Good morning. I'm Sally Murray, the Paraeducator Program Manager for Montgomery County Public Schools. Welcome to the new Paraeducator Orientation. You are to be congratulated as you have been selected from a competitive field of applicants to join our MCPS family of educators. And that is what you are, educators. We encourage you to be proactive and engaged in supporting and delivering instruction to our 162,000 students. We need every one of you to be the best you can. And so do the students. They are counting on you to help them access the curriculum and prepare them for college and careers. As you begin your career as a paraeducator with MCPS, I ask that you remember these four thoughts. Be positive. Have a can-do attitude. Positivity can be contagious. If you believe in them, they will begin to believe in themselves. Kids have so many hurdles and struggles. We need to encourage and support them. Suggest, let's find someone else who can help, or maybe try it another way like this. Smile. Your smile may be the first, the last, and the only smile that student receives today. A smile is a potent tool. Whatever else may be happening in that child's life, a smile says, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. If you need me, I'm approachable and available. You can ask me for help at any time. Learn students' names and use them. This is a very powerful way to validate an individual and to begin to build relationships. Learn all staff members' names too and show respect by calling all staff by Mr. or Ms. If you introduce the building service worker as Jim and not as Mr. White, you are teaching students that maybe some adults aren't as deserving of respect as others. We all have different defined positions within MCPS, but we are all professionals and are all due the same respect. Be flexible. You will be given a schedule of duties. It will change, perhaps even daily, because paras are not usually tied to one classroom. So when needs arise, administration may ask you to change your assignment for the day or week. It's what we do, and we do it with a smile on our face. Understand that this is an opportunity for us to be a constant for the students as they see us in different capacities around the school. And I encourage you to build appropriate relationships with the students. They need us. Oftentimes, they will share information with us that they may not share with other teachers. We are with them in unstructured settings, transitions, specials, lunch and recess. We see a different side of them that the classroom teachers may not see so be flexible and approachable. We were all new and we all had to learn. No one expects you to know everything, but we do expect you will seek advice and information at the appropriate time and in an appropriate manner. Be responsible for your own learning. Take classes. Seek information from reliable sources and grow professionally. And finally, laugh. Laugh with the kids, with adults. Laugh at a situation. Laugh at yourself. Put things in their proper perspective. Some things are just funny, and it's okay to laugh. Laughter is a great de-stressor. It makes life more fun, which makes learning more fun. And learning is our goal. Laughter makes you friendlier, more approachable, and ultimately, a better parent. So be positive, smile, be flexible, and laugh. A closing word about today's training. Today is an overview of your position and a generalization of what it means to be a para with MCPS. You are a mixed audience of regular and special education parents, pre-K through high school. Some information you hear today may not apply to your position right now, but it is still good information to have. Trainings on specific topics are available throughout the year. Seek them out. Look on the Professional Development Online System, PDO, for other learning opportunities. Use key search words such as PARAS, SPT10, and topics of interest like Excel. Some housekeeping notes. You will follow the classroom rotation that is on your agenda. There are different colors of agendas. Each group will rotate through all four sessions throughout the day. Please stay with your group when you rotate as this helps to equally distribute the number of participants in each session. Bathrooms are located by the cafeteria, down the stairs, and to the left and rear of the school. 
Lunch is provided today by Educational Systems Federal Credit Union. You will be able to speak with one of their representatives during lunch if you have questions about the credit union. There will also be representatives from some MCPS offices for you to engage with during lunch. Human Resources, Office of University Partnerships, Career Pathways, Employee Retiree Services Center, known as ERSKI, and our union, SEIU Local 500. There will be snacks and water set out by the classrooms after session one, provided by SEIU Local 500. During lunch, you will be welcomed by some members of MCPS leadership and our SEIU Local 500 president. You will be paid by a PDO data pool, so please make sure you have signed the registration sheets as I will use these to mark attendance and PDO. If you must leave early, find me so I can mark the time you leave. It may take a few pay cycles before your pay shows up on your pay voucher. It will say WKS, which stands for workshop. There will be an evaluation link shared at the end of the last rotation session. And now let's hear from some principals, teachers, and paras about the role of paraeducators in the classroom. Montgomery County Public Schools is the largest school system in the state of Maryland with more than 146,000 students. Amongst the many teachers and specialists serving students in Montgomery County are more than 2,500 paraeducators. Paraeducators are an integral part of the learning and teaching team. Under the supervision of teachers, paraeducators assist with multiple levels of support in the classroom. I see the paraeducator usually as that first one that establishes that good role um, and that relationship with the students. And the students like them because they're in the classroom. They help them with writing as scribes. They sometimes do read to for them, but it's in a non-evaluative role. You know, my day can consist of anything from pulling students one-on-one -on -one to work with them. It could be pulling small groups for assessments, doing read-alouds, scribing, covering specific topics, you know, doing reviews with students. There, it's different every day. We are honored to have Ms. Middleton uh, be one of our paraeducators. Uh, Ms. Middleton is, uh, is a staff member here uh, who does everything. She is willing to work with the students in any capacity. You will often see her walking with our kids uh, in the hallway, as well as being in the cafeteria, uh, as well as supporting them in the classroom. But for us, Ms. Middleton provides that added support that the students need and use, as well as make sure that they take advantage of Paraeducators and teachers are encouraged to work together as co-teachers to deliver instruction and support student academic achievement. I do get her feedback whenever we're doing any type of assessment or we're doing a particular lesson. I might say to Ms. Milton, so I'm thinking about it doing this way. What do you think? How do you think? Do you think the kids would respond? Should it break it down more? And that's when she'll jump in and say, well, I think that for, for certain kids she should do this. She differentiate by outlining the lakes or giving them a key or things like that. She definitely has an input in terms of how we carry out the lesson. Mm -hmm. If she believes that um, we need to spend more time understanding a particular topic or some kids were spotty, we figure out ways to continue the lesson but at the same time revisit ideas. But it is definitely great to have a paraeducator in my classroom. Um, this year my class consists of 25 students and I have 11 students with um, IEPs. My paraeducator is Flora Lee and she wears many hats. Um, she pulls small groups, she works with students one-on-one, -on -one. Um, she reads books to the whole class, um, she helps guide any lessons that I'm teaching, um, she assists with any accommodations for testing. Um, there are many things that she does. I would not be able to work without her. <laughs> she is my right hand and my left hand. <laughs> she is incredible. We've worked together for three years now. You know, we are in the same routine. She knows my routines, I know her, and often doing the planning, and especially when it comes to um, with the kids that have the IEPs, and we have to fill out all of our forms. We work together on it because, you know, we're both working with the kids. I love being a paraeducator. Uh, I love kids. I love helping the kids. I love to watch them learn. I love to see them grow from the beginning of the year 
to how they grow at the end of the year and we send them on to high school. It's, it's an amazing process to watch. The key thing about being a parent educator is to understand that you are a teacher as well. That your job um, in the classroom goes above and beyond supporting the teacher. Your job in the classroom goes to the heart of supporting the students. You if I did not have a paraeducator in my room, it would definitely be hard and stressful. Um, with the needs of the students in this room this year, and with 11 having IEPs and trying to meet their individual goals, plus teach the curriculum to those students, um, and also focusing on my general ed students, there's no way that as one person in the room I would be able to do all of those things. Students are more comfortable with the paraeducators mm -hmm. because they can trust them and they know that they are there to help them to achieve academic success in that classroom, and yet at the same time, they don't have that judgment attached to it. Paraeducators are an integral part of the learning and teaching team in Montgomery County Public Schools, where they build relationships with students and staff that promote student learning and success. Yes.